Hi guys, it's Infernosis Left Toenail, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the weaknesses of every Jujutsu shenanigans character. And after watching this video, you guys should be able to use these facts to your advantage to win pretty much every 1v1 or fight you get into. And if you guys found this video helpful or enjoyable in any sort of way, make sure to subscribe because it's 100% free and I'm trying to hit 50k. Also, I'm hosting a Squid Game type of event in my Discord server for a prize of 1,700 Robux since we did hit 40k. So if you guys want to join that, make sure to join my Discord server. It will be happening in a couple of days. And uh, yeah, let's get right into this video. Why be noodles? Starting off with Gojo, Gojo's weakness is all of his moves have crazy end lag. For example, when doing laps blue, if the enemy walks out of his range or blocks it, you can be easily punished. This applies for every move in Gojo's base moveset. Simply by blocking or dodging red, you can get easy damage on the Gojo user because they are stunned until the red pops. Rapid punches is the hardest move to dodge, but if you do, you can get yourself an opportunity to land a combo on the Gojo user. And for twofold kick, you might be able to dodge the first kick. However, you gotta watch out for the second kick when you're going in for the attack. Next up, we got Yuji. No, Yuji's weakness is not how handsome he is, but instead, it's the fact that he only has one good combo. Yuji has that one combo that goes 3M1s, curse strikes, 3M1s, black flash, Koksen! into aerial crushing blow. This means that after the Yuji user lands their combo, they only have Manji kick off of cooldown. This allows you to play more aggressive because even if they land the M1 combo on you, they can't follow up with another move. So once the Yuji user lands their combo, try playing as aggressive as you can to land your combo as well. The third character on the list is Hikari. Hikari's weakness is not his gambling addiction, but the fact that 3 out of 4 of his moves are blockable. Reserve balls are blockable. Shutter doors are blockable and Fever Breaker is also blockable. You can use this information to your advantage by holding block when fighting a Hakari user. This could also make the Hakari user really mad. Bro, stop holding block! Leading them to fumble in their plays during the fight. The next character is Megumi. Megumi's weakness is that his moves need a target to lock onto, as well as needing good aim. For Rabbit Escape, you need to be within his range in order for it to activate. And the same applies for Toad and Divine Dogs. Also, all four moves require good aim especially in public servers because they might end up on the wrong person. You can counter Megumi users by keeping your distance from them and always dashing around so that they can't catch you. The final character is Mahito. The main weakness for Mahito is that he only has one combo extender. To be honest, even with one combo extender, Mahito is a crazy character. I couldn't find a solid weakness for Mahito. Even with one move, he still does crazy damage. I hope in the future updates, Mahito does get a weakness. And if you guys do have a weakness for Mahito, make sure to comment it down below. Now, I'm going to be 1v1ing my friend. And he's going to be using all five characters. And I'm going to demonstrate you my Sigma skill. <laughs> and I'm going to be using their weaknesses to my advantage. And let's get right into this. Alright. Three, Three, two, two one, one, go! go. Alright, so he's starting off with Gojo. I'm waiting for his laps blue so that I can block it. Also, I'll be mainly using Hikari throughout the entire video. Oh, we could not block that. Oh, okay. Okay, I was holding F! Boom. He's gonna base it. I'm gonna keep my range. I'm gonna bait out his uh, lap screw. But at the same time, he is pretty experienced. So, yeah, he won't just go in for it raw. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm getting packed. I'm locked in now. See, okay, right there. Okay, I did a really bad job of demonstrating, right? But like right there, he didn't hit the first kick of the two-fold kick, right? Oh, I messed that up. Oh, he's dead. Okay, but like I was saying, okay, I'm just going to play that back. But on that first kick of two-fold kick, he didn't hit it, but the second one hit. Now, I know it's because I was on the ground, 
But like when you guys are doing it and like he just like doesn't hit it and you're still up, then you guys gotta watch out for that. Now he's using Yuji. Three, Three two, two, one, one go. go. Boom. His first move is on cooldown. He's gonna. Oh wow, he messed it up. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now all of his moves are on cooldown, so I'm gonna play a lot more aggressive. Okay, I messed that up. Okay, now his curse strikes. Yeah, I was about to say his curse strikes it was probably off of cooldown. And boom. Okay, GG's. So I'm always keeping in mind what moves he has on and off of cooldown. He's back. Now he's using Hikari. Mirror matchup. All I gotta remember is try and hold block as much as possible. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! He's gonna evasive right here. I'm gonna hold block. Boom. Nice. See, just hold block. I gotta, that's literally like all you gotta do. Boom, nice. Boom. Alright, GG's. But at the same time, everyone's playstyles are different. So this is just from my personal experience, and everyone's playstyle can be different. So yeah. He said, oh, that wasn't my best. Okay, so now he's gonna be using Megumi. Okay, so now he's using Megumi. For Megumi, we just wanna have as much distance and movement as possible. Three, Three two, two, one, one go! go! I'm just going to keep my distance right here. Okay. Okay. See, and look. It requires good aim. So he just completely missed his best move. Which means I can play a little bit more aggressive right here. Be okay, nice. I'm just going to keep my distance. That will not be reaching me from that distance. Now I'm in his range. So he's going to activate it. Oh, wow. I don't know how that worked. Okay, he's gonna get a pretty good combo right now. Okay, nope. Oh, I used the wrong move. That's fine, though. Okay. Nope. Oh, okay, he got me good with that one. Oh. Okay, we just wanna block. What the? Okay, what just happened there? Oh, no. He got hyper armor. I just want to stay out of his range. Oh, I tried to dodge that. I might end up losing this. I'm in his... I'm too close to him right now. But he's healing up slowly, so... See, look. You gotta aim properly. He ended up getting the dummy. I think that kind of sold him, not gonna lie. But the dummy sold him so hard, dude. Alright, but for the final character, he's gonna be using Mahito. This is probably the most concerning character I'm going up against. Since uh, he just does crazy damage. Three, Three two, two, one, one. Let's go. go. Oh, we, we want to dodge that. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. I tried to dodge that, but it clearly didn't work. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro. I'm getting tossed. Yo. I am getting cooked. I'm ready for the body repel. Oh god. Nice, 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 nice. We got him with the counter. Nice, we punished him. Evasive. Or not. Boom. He's dead. All right, GG's. Okay, everybody, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did enjoy, make sure to subscribe, like, share the video to your friends. I'm on a journey of hitting 50K first and then 100K. And that is one of my goals. And I'd appreciate if you guys can support me along my journey. But that'll be all for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Catch you on the next video. Peace.